So now I would like to just show you, I'm feeling like a DJ of performance art here. And I am very bored to show you on my, about my work. And actually, I like to show in the context with other things. So I would like to show you just few. Can we now switch the light and we show you a few examples which things I like in different ways about performances? Some dance, some film, some really pure performance work. So I'm going to leave you at the moment till here. Number one, so performing body. I love to actually make this kind of um, drawings and see how we can learn if the body can perform different parts. This is a very important statement. It's said that the art is a matter of life and death. This may be melodramatic, but it's also true. Because for me, I really think that being an artist, whatever you do, you have to do 100%. Only 100% is good enough. And it's real life in that. If you take it that serious, then you're really somewhere else. And this one, I, you know, I don't care if it's beautiful or, or the ugly, it has to be true. Because art is not just beautiful. Art is not decoration on, you know, that you, the choice you're painting because the, is very good for the color of your carpet. It's more than that. So, as you see, I make different, um, story about different parts of the body, head. Now we have head. How we can perform just with the head? Can we do that? So I mix lots of different materials. This is a very young artist, uh, Lucia Mundet Pali from uh, Barcelona, Spain. And she made this piece called The Head. It looks like sculpture. She's just looking at the camera. And it's a very static piece. And uh, there is a very striking presence of the cat almost cut off from the body, looking at you. And that's it. And looks timeless to me. The next thing, it's something that I film um, in China, where I was walking the Chinese wall. I was observing shaman who was actually putting uh, repeatedly poison snakes, rattlesnakes in his eyes and his mouth. Two, yeah, just go, go, go. Every time I'm talking. All right, and, uh, and I just have a little bad camera and I was filming that ritual. I, for me, it was very important to travel. And uh, I learned a lot from the shamanism, from the Tibetan culture. I stay one year in the Aborigines in Central Australia. And these kind of cultures learn me how to use the body mentally and physically in different way that our culture does. Because in our culture, we just relate to technology and we are invalids. I'm extremely against technology. <laughs> I actually hate technology. Because the rap they took time out of us. We had no time anymore. We don't, if we, the technology was invented, the human being have time, but we're not using it, that time given to us. All right, so the next thing again, um, it's Vito Conci. I Vito knew Conci I would stay for a while. is a very important I artist I would stay for a while. who invent the title, Body is the Place, and invent title in the 70s, Body Art. And uh, he actually, uh, didn't do much public performances. He made performances in his studio. He called them in the, really the, make them art tapes. And uh, he performed for the camera and then make video and then we are confronted with this video. Again, just one little example how the body, just the head performing and the piece is called Cowboy. He's telling the story of the cowboy using his head. All the pieces are just small inserts and not complete work, just to give you a glimpse of what we can do only with head performing. Because I had to save that town. Little sound more. So I stood there, I took a position. Took a position on one end of the bar. One end of the bar and I could see him. Could see him at the other end. Shove that glass of whiskey down the bar. Yeah. Shoved it, shoved it into me. He thought, he thought that would start me to move. But no, I wasn't going to draw first. I wouldn't draw first, I just circled. 
circle around him, circle around the town. I had plenty of time, plenty of time. So I taunted him, taunted the man in black, taunted him with my back. I wasn't going to draw on him first. Now, but then there was the contest. Yes, I forgot about the contest. A coin, a coin thrown into the air, and I shot, shot at the coin. Shot at the coin, hit it dead center. Hit it dead center in the air. He knew I wouldn't stop there. He knew I wouldn't stop. as so I just slowly walked, walked around the town. I wasn't okay. going to stop. Yes, I will, because it's so limited time and I want to show you so many things. So, this is a cowboy and his long story. Uh, it's very important in the, in the performance art <coughs> how many artists come from different backgrounds. The Vito Conci come from literature, so the words are very important to him. The next step, it's called Monologue from Case Makers from 82, and they come from the dance. And this is again completely another attitude. It's about head dancing with distorted music and a little bit of French text we're going to translate. But it's not that important. It's important to see how the head can dance and perform alone. And, and, and bed, you say? En bed, il sait. À quoi bon rêver Tant qu'on ne résout pas la question. He was the beginning saying. Au départ, il sait. Si tout se passe comme prévu. If everything is happening how we planned. We can go far away, far away. In the beginning, he was saying, if you are on my place, what are you going to choose? In the beginning, he was saying, what do you want me to tell you? I am afraid to tell you. In the beginning he was saying, what you want to tell you, I am the only one, the only one for me. It's impossible. <laughs>
not showing the whole piece again. So the next piece, it's completely different, is in tradition of performance art from the 70s. Very, very young Chinese art, the Japanese artist. Try, can we play? Try to swallow the microphone, but he doesn't succeed. Okay, so now we go to, so this is all heads, you see. Um, in the head, everything is important. There, every kind of um, element you have or not have, the, the way how you hold the hair, the material you have in the hands or you don't. So uh, the, the next one is um, two heads. Now we go to two heads. And this is Gilbert and George, is the, the longest living couple who survive together working because artist couples is disaster. It's always the beginning in the, be, you know, in the beginning and then always finish in some time tragedy. But these guys are still together. But this is the film from the 80s, um, Gilbert and George. <laughs> Almost at the same time, not knowing for each other and not knowing that we're doing this, it's Ulai, who was my partner for 12 years. We made a film called AA, which we actually scream in each other's mouths till one of us lose the voice, which was me for one month. More sound. Sound. days. Um, <laughs> so um, now let's go to feet. So feet is not easy to find good ones. So I really think for me the one of the most wonderful is a two male feet dancing in Pina Bausch tango. Okay. 
gracias tengo y veinte abriles carnavaleros y bien repleto tu moreno para derrocharlo de norte a sur te llaman todos muñeca verano porque tus huesos son dulces pa' mi sociedad en aquel asunto tomar en serio mi amor de juventud chest so to find really good work only concerning the chest and not to be pornographic it's a big task so i found this very interesting that come from the dance susan omen the she is the dutch artist dancer actually she made this work called the chase and the performance was made in the forest she taped camera on her on her stomach and uh, perform the, the kind of scene as being chased like a wild animal and the public have to follow her. The performance was three hours and you just can see the glimpse and I think it's a really wonderful idea. Hand is the only one, I mean the hands, it's the most extreme artist uh, this America had, it was Chris Burden, and he made a piece called The Shot, and this was in the early 70s, and at that time didn't even have enough, um, found enough money to actually, um, uh, you know, pay the real documentation, so it's just a few seconds of Super 8 camera, and he asked his friend in the gallery to shoot in his arm. And it's quite extreme and looks so innocent on the, because of the, of the type of recording. And the rest is the, only the tape telling about the, about the performance and then a few seconds of the real video. It's quite extreme. Jude. I'm shot in the upper left-hand arm by a friend of mine um, with a 22 rifle. The only visuals I have of this piece is a very short film clip, about eight seconds long. So I'm going to begin the piece with an audio tape that was made during the actual performance. In the audio tape, some of the things to listen for are, are do you know where you're going to stand, Bruce? Then later, right before the film clip happens, you'll hear me say, are you ready? Then you'll hear the clicking of the Super 8 camera. Later, after the clip is over, another thing to listen for is the sound of the empty shell dropping on the concrete floor. Okay, so I think we could go right into the audio tape. You know what I'm
are talking 70s, and we are talking when the body was such an important place to explore. I remember going to the hospitals and seeing the most difficult operations on human body, like a, like a heart, like a brain, like a hip, and just trying to understand, they use all the instruments, like you're not making the table, like saws and, and metal nails and so on, and understanding where is the spirit, where is the body, where is the soul, and you know, all this confusion. But the body was really important. Uh, oh no, wait, why are we getting this? Oh, okay, yes, sorry, this is good. So it's another piece. Uh, of Ula and me, which is called Expansion in Space. And, um, you know, the idea was, again, expanding the space with your own body and see what is your physical limits. Never use the hand, but the entire body. Uh, performance was a long time and it was very hard in these times, in Documenta 77. rest energy and uh, in, as I said in those days it was very important pushing these mental physical limits and next piece was like I have to explain a little bit more about what happened if you're running in a park and you're running and running and running don't play <laughs> yet and you're running in the park and you're totally exhausted you and you're going to now stop have a shower and have a breakfast but in this particular moment when you can't run anymore came the man, man with the gun and say if you don't run I kill you what you're doing you're running, but you're running for your life, but from which energy you're running. So in every molecule of body, there is a something called rest energy. And that rest energy actually is, you know, the energy can be activated in the, in the moment of complete danger. But this is in our Western culture. But in Eastern cultures, we can activate this energy at the willpower and uh, do whatever we want with this. So it's really interesting how we use in different ways energies. So the pain was a big issue in the 70s. You know, how to understand what pain is, how you can control the pain, and how you can overcome the pain. So the way the cutting the body, seeing what blood is, and using body as a, the, you know, the main material of your work, this was the point, and this is why the whole area in that time is called body art. So here is one piece called rest energy which we are draining on this last, the, the molecule of energy. It's uh, Ulai, it's uh, my partner for 12 years, which we split on walking the Chinese wall in uh, 87 and say goodbye. This piece, um, we are extending by an arrow just on the weight of our own body, and it's extremely dangerous. And this piece is really based on total trust. I have to trust him totally. And I think the most dangerous pieces I made in my life, the, the one, who didn't depend on me, but depend on others. And um, the sound you can hear, it's kind of very faint, but it's sound of two little microphones on our hearts who are trying to change in beat. Okay. like to show you something from the dance I think 48 please I think Pina Bausch for me it's one of the extreme and, and the most interesting choreographer 
any time. And she died recently. I don't know if Vin Vendors made a beautiful movie. I don't know if you had a chance to see 3D uh, about her. But what is interesting about her is that she put the dancers in real situation. Actually, yeah, this, uh, can you go one before? If we can go back, please. She put the dancer in real situations. She, they have to dance on the rain, in the mud, in the snow. And the feelings comes exactly from that. You know, they're not playing the feelings. They're actually feeling them. And uh, the extremes of her dancers are just uh, very close to performance. So this is the, just one short insert of the dancing in the mud. <laughs> from the dance part, it's Tim Buckley, and this wonderful little piece about, um, start, about piece about um, choreography and is a parody. Your arms are a tree, your legs are rooted to the ground, your breath is deep, your spine is long, your eyes are soft, your jaw is slack, your mind is empty, your face is a book, your hair is growing, your lips are moist, your shoulders are heaving, your ears are burning, your teeth are clenched, your ass is brass, your hips are cocked, your calves are veal, your thighs are dripping, 
Your lover is leaving. Your heart is hard. Your brain is soft. Your time is up. Your house is on fire. Your life is over. Your death awaits you. And plie. Okay, now we come to the last chapter of this evening, which uh, actually I, I completely made up, and uh, it's called body drama. So what is the body drama? Body drama to relate to everybody, to all the artists, all musicians, theater people, the film video, name it. So what's the body drama? Okay, let's give example. This is huge rock star concert, and hundreds and hundreds of people are there watching and the musicians are doing the best, and they're getting this enormous energy from the audience, and they're giving back, and energy is coming more and more. And then the concert is finished, curtain is down, and they are staying with this all the energy in their body. And if they don't know the key, how to transform the energy into positive energy, this is the energy who's going to kill them. And this is happening over and over again. And this is body drama. So I wanted to give you um, just one example of the body drama, Elvis Presley, last concert, German television. I, I done it, uh, recording, it's very bad, but it's incredible document, and uh, let's see for yourself. What happened? It's frozen, you see? Elvis Presley is frozen. <laughs> I don't, can we go to the next one? Amazing, that must be some, must be the God is here. <laughs> there is no way we can, visit. let's we try our best. Okay, if this is a dramatic situation, then I can turn it to positive, because it's my job, I can tell you the performance joke. <laughs> so the performance joke, the only one I know, how many performance artists you need to fix light bulb? Uh, answer is this one. I don't know, I was there only six hours. <laughs> and Elvis Presley is frozen. <laughs> That's amazing. All right, so I really think if Elvis Presley is frozen, there must be some reason. So I think we should put light on. And uh, I would like to talk some more with the full light.